It's called the Belly of the Dragon. Welcome to the Adventure Closet. I'm Liz, and this is Charlie. We are two 80s and 90s kids that never lost their sense of wonder. We're all over the map, exploring wild and abandoned places, discovering rocks, geology, and history of different areas, all while living and traveling in our minivan Opal. I guess you can say our life is a mixtape of adventures. So hop in the van, hit the subscribe button, and let's go somewhere. <laughs> this is kind of cool. So a guy here said that it, it used to be a drainage ditch. Uh, and it was never meant to be this big. It's just eroded. But it, it goes under a road, the highway that we're traveling on. It's called the Belly of the Dragon. It's a lot darker than it looks, but it's nice and cool. What are you saying, Ben? Uh, just like, this is incredible. Yeah. You really feel like you're in the belly of the dragon. <laughs> Kinda, yeah. <laughs> hey, I hope there's no snakes in here. Can't really see. Yeah. On camera, it's a lot brighter than, uh, than it actually is. It's... So this is uh, on the other side, it's just a, a wash with a lot of sand and a lot of sandstone. Um, so we're gonna head on back through, through the belly of the dragon. And apparently it was just a drainage hole made for this wash to go under the highway, which the highway is right up there. Also a uh, free BLM campground um, on the other side where we parked. So that's, some, that's a plus. I don't think we'll stay here. We're gonna cover a little bit of ground today. And uh, a lot of names scribed in the walls. Pretty neato. Yeah. <laughs> that it's, was a giant. Ah, it's actually a nice, cool place, like temperature wise on this hot day. Um, would be a great place to hang out. It's a nice breeze going through it right now. I'm gonna turn on my light because I can't see nothing. <laughs> But you can see with the dust blowing that uh, there's a good breeze going through here. After the belly of the dragon, we gave Opal a much needed bath so we could head into the forest and get her dirty again. 
It's super windy outside, but we're going to show you some geodes that we found at this campsite that we're at. They're totally cool and unexpected. Nice. This guy looks the part. Dud. It's a dud. Just that big one, huh? Yeah. But look at that. So cool. We just happened to find a campsite in the right spot to find all these cool geodes. But, but taking a hike and exploring the area more, it turns out the geodes wasn't all we found. Just out exploring the area and came across a, a bunch of malachite and some azurite. Just sitting here. That's awesome. Just a little bit off the main road here. And this isn't on any rock counting books either. No maps. Just randomly came across it in this area. <laughs> we seem to do that a lot. It's kind of crazy. Not too far from uh, where we found the Malachite and Azurite, I stumbled across this. Anybody recognize that? Uh, that is the front of a toy tractor. You got the seat with the steering wheel coming out the top, big old tires in the back, and the small tires in the front. That's old. Just another random find in the woods. It's kind of weird finding something like this in the woods. Just nothing else around. I have to look this up. I'm sure that'll be an easy one to find. I'll see if I can find a date and leave it right where I found it for the next person. Pretty cool. All right, we weren't doing a video today, but uh, just found this oil can not too far from the tractor. SAE 40. That's pretty cool. Just looks like it's been pried open. I stabbed with a knife. 
Can't really make anything out on it. Okay, I'm starting to think there was a homestead here like Liz suggested. Nice flat place for a cabin. And uh, look at this, part of an old pipe wrench. Oh, it even says something on it. Fair light. I don't know. Can you guys make that out? I can't quite make it out, but it's got a name on it. Just, uh, Got over here and there's a couple paint cans and a old 55 gallon drum. Check this can out. Oh nice. Does it have any writing on it? I think it's too tuned up. Oh there's something there. Very, very faint. I don't even know if I'm holding it right side up or upside down. Gosh, guys, um, we just can't stop filming apparently because we were just taking the day off, just taking a hike, and we just, all this stuff we just want to share with you. Like, this is some old bottle glass right here. Oh, hey. I can't make out any writing on it. Nice, but look at how thick this is, too. Wow, that is thick. And it doesn't have the, um, the grooves on the bottom like newer glass does. It's like a bed spring or something. Yeah, there's a piece of glass right there. Piece of rubber. We're just in somebody's old dump. Yeah, so, cool stuff. Uh, whoa, look at this little thing. Is that an old tobacco tin? Huh, okay. Plot thickens. <laughs> An old tire. Huh. I'm intrigued. I normally wouldn't be uh, cool finding all this junk out in the woods, but this is like, these are old relics. Um, and uh, yeah. Pretty cool. All right, we're leaving this spot after a few days. Uh, great place. Uh, found some geodes and uh, got the van cleaned up. And just doing my final once over to make sure that we didn't leave anything, like always. And then we're gonna hit the road to who knows where. <laughs> but, uh, I got this love note from a rock hound. Oh, that's awesome. And the geodes are right there. They made this like little fence thing that goes all the way around the van. Perfect little area. A little windy though. We decided to check out this area we saw called the Vermilion Cliffs, which are a sight to see. At the base of the cliffs, there is a roadside stop called Cliff Dwellers, where a couple whose car broke down overnight during the Great Depression decided to build their homes and a trading post out of the rocks here.
is amazing. <laughs> this is cool. Like, this is something you would dream of creating as like a kid. Yeah. The ultimate form. <laughs> Looks like it. The layers of uh, quartzite. What? What is it? Um, I think it's just sandstone. The white? The white layers? Oh, I thought you were talking about this stuff. Uh huh. Well, that's all we can squeeze into this adventure. I want to thank our Patreons and our donators for helping us on our travels and helping us bring these great videos to you guys. See you next time. Well, that was fun. That was so much fun. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and check us out on Patreon and we'll see you next time. Bye now. Bye now.